Colorado is a state of the United States encompassing most of the southern Rocky Mountains as well as the northeastern portion of the Colorado Plateau and the western edge of the Great Plains. It is the eighth largest geographically and 21st most populous U.S. state. The estimated population of Colorado was 5,540,545 on July 1, 2016 an increase of 10.17% since the 2010 United States Census. The state was named for the Colorado River, which Spanish travelers named the Rio Colorado for the ruddy silt the river carried from the mountains. The territory of Colorado was organized on February 28, 1861, and on August 1, 1876. U.S. President Ulysses S. Grant signed Proclamation 230 admitting Colorado to the Union as the 38th state. Colorado is nicknamed the Centennial State because it became a state a century after the signing of the United States Declaration of Independence. Colorado is bordered by Wyoming to the north, Nebraska to the northeast, Kansas to the east, Oklahoma to the southeast, New Mexico to the south. Utah to the west, and touches Arizona to the southwest at the four corners. Colorado is noted for its vivid landscape of mountains, forests, high plains, mesas, canyons, plateaus, rivers, and desert lands. Colorado is considered part of the western or southwestern United States, and one of the mountain states. Denver is the capital and most populous city of Colorado. Residents of the state are known as Coloradans, although the term Coloradoan has been used archaically and lives on in the title of the Fort Collins Coloradoan newspaper. Geography Colorado is notable for its diverse geography, ranging from alpine mountains, arid plains, and deserts with huge sand dunes, deep canyons, sandstone and granite rock formations, rivers, lakes, and lush forests. The borders of Colorado were originally defined to be lines of latitude and longitude, making its shape a latitude-longitude quadrangle which stretches from 37 degrees north to 41 degrees north latitude and from 102 degrees 03 W to 109 degrees 03 W longitude, 25 degrees west to 32 degrees west from the Washington Meridian. Colorado, Wyoming, and Utah are the only states which have boundaries defined solely by lines of latitude and longitude. Mountains See also, Mountain Peaks of Colorado The summit of Mount Albert at 14,440 feet, 4,401.2 m, elevation in Lake County is the highest point in Colorado and the Rocky Mountains of North America. Colorado is the only U.S. state that lies entirely above 1,000 meters elevation. The point where the Arikari River flows out of Yuma County, Colorado, and into Cheyenne County, Kansas, is the lowest point in Colorado at 3,317 feet, 1,011 m, elevation. This point, which holds the distinction of being the highest low elevation point of any state, is higher than the high elevation points of 18 states and the District of Columbia. Plains A little less than one half of the area of Colorado is flat and rolling land. East of the Rocky Mountains are the Colorado Eastern Plains of the High Plains, the section of the Great Plains within Nebraska at elevations ranging from roughly 3,350 to 7,500 feet. 1,020 to 2,290 m. The Colorado Plains were mostly prairies, but they have many patches of deciduous forests, buttes, and canyons. Eastern Colorado is presently mainly covered in farmland and rangeland, along with small farming villages and towns. Precipitation is fair, averaging from 15 to 25 inches, 380 to 640 mm, annually. Corn, wheat, hay, soybeans, and oats are all typical crops, and most of the villages and towns in this region boast both a water tower and a grain elevator. Irrigation water is available from the South Platte, the Arkansas River, and a few other streams, 
and also from subterranean sources, including artesian wells. However, heavy use of groundwater from wells for irrigation has caused underground water reserves to decline. As well as crop agriculture, eastern Colorado hosts considerable livestock, such as cattle ranches and hog farms. Front Range Roughly 70% of Colorado's population resides along the eastern edge of the Rocky Mountains in the Front Range urban corridor between Cheyenne, Wyoming, and Pueblo, Colorado. This region is partially protected from prevailing storms that blow in from the Pacific Ocean region by the high Rockies in the middle of Colorado. The Front Range includes Denver, Boulder, Fort Collins, Loveland, Colorado Springs, Pueblo, Greeley, and other townships and municipalities in between. On the other side of the Rockies, the significant population centers in western Colorado, which is not considered the Front Range, are the cities of Grand Junction, Durango, and Montrose. Continental Divide the continental divide of the Americas extends along the crest of the Rocky Mountains. The area of Colorado to the west of the continental divide is called the Western Slope of Colorado. Drainage water west of the continental divide flows to the southwest via the Colorado River and the Green River into the Gulf of California. Within the interior of the Rocky Mountains are several large parks which are high broad basins. In the north, on the east side of the Continental Divide is the North Park of Colorado. The North Park is drained by the North Platte River, which flows north into Wyoming and Nebraska. Just to the south of North Park, but on the western side of the Continental Divide, is the Middle Park of Colorado, which is drained by the Colorado River. The South Park of Colorado is the region of the headwaters of the South Platte River. Southern Region in southmost Colorado is the large San Luis Valley, where the headwaters of the Rio Grande are located. The valley sits between the Sangre de Cristo Mountains and San Juan Mountains, and consists of large desert lands that eventually run into the mountains. The Rio Grande drains due south into New Mexico, Mexico, and Texas. Across the Sangre de Cristo range to the east of the San Luis Valley lies the Wet Mountain Valley. These basins, particularly the San Luis Valley, lie along the Rio Grande Rift, a major geological formation of the Rocky Mountains, and its branches. Peaks To the west of the Great Plains of Colorado rises the eastern slope of the Rocky Mountains. Notable peaks of the Rocky Mountains include Long's Peak, Mount Evans, Pikes Peak, and the Spanish Peaks near Walsenburg, in southern Colorado. This area drains to the east and the southeast, ultimately either via the Mississippi River or the Rio Grande into the Gulf of Mexico. The Rocky Mountains within Colorado contain about 53 peaks that are 14,000 feet, 4,267 m, or higher in elevation above sea level, known as 14ers. These mountains are largely covered with trees such as conifers and aspens up to the tree line at an elevation of about 12,000 feet, 3,700 m, in southern Colorado to about 10,500 feet, 3,200 m, in northern Colorado. Above this only alpine vegetation grows. Only small parts of the Colorado Rockies are snow-covered year-round. Much of the alpine snow melts by mid-August with the exception of a few snow-capped peaks and a few small glaciers. The Colorado Mineral Belt, stretching from the San Juan Mountains in the southwest to Boulder and Central City on the Front Range, contains most of the historic gold and silver mining districts of Colorado. Mount Albert is the highest summit of the Rocky Mountains. The 30 highest major summits of the Rocky Mountains of North America all lie within the state. Colorado Western Slope the western slope of Colorado is drained by the Colorado River and its tributaries, primarily the Gunnison River, Green River, and the San Juan River, or by evaporation in its arid areas. The Colorado River flows through Glenwood Canyon and then through an arid valley made up of desert from Rifle to Parachute, through the Desert Canyon of Debec Canyon, 
and into the arid desert of Grand Valley, where the city of Grand Junction is located. Also prominent in or near the southern portion of the western slope are the Grand Mesa, which lies to the southeast of Grand Junction, the High San Juan Mountains, a rugged mountain range, and to the west of the San Juan Mountains, the Colorado Plateau, a high arid region that borders southern Utah. The city of Grand Junction, Colorado is the largest city on the western slope. Grand Junction and Durango are the only major centers of television broadcasting west of the Continental Divide in Colorado, though most mountain resort communities publish daily newspapers. Higher education in and near the Western Slope can be found at Colorado Mesa University in Grand Junction, Western State College of Colorado in Gunnison, Fort Lewis College in Durango, and Colorado Mountain College in Glenwood Springs and Steamboat Springs. Grand Junction is located along Interstate 70, the only major highway in western Colorado. Grand Junction is also along the major railroad of the Western Slope the Union Pacific. This railroad also provides the tracks for Amtrak's California Zephyr passenger train, which crosses the Rocky Mountains between Denver and Grand Junction via a route on which there are no continuous highways. The western slope lies in close proximity to multiple notable destinations in the Colorado Rocky Mountains, including Glenwood Springs, with its resort Hot Springs, and the ski resorts of Aspen, Breckenridge, Vale, Crested Butte, Steamboat Springs, and Telluride. The northwestern corner of Colorado is a sparsely populated region, and it contains part of the noted Dinosaur National Monument, which is not only a paleontological area, but is also a scenic area of rocky hills, canyons, arid desert, and stream beds. Here, the Green River briefly crosses over into Colorado. From west to east, the land of Colorado consists of desert lands, desert plateaus, alpine mountains, national forests, relatively flat grasslands, scattered forests, buttes, and canyons in the western edge of the Great Plains. The famous Pikes Peak is located just west of Colorado Springs. Its isolated peak is visible from nearly the Kansas border on clear days, and also far to the north and the south. Desert lands in Colorado are located in and around areas such as the Pueblo, Cannon City, Florence, Great Sand Dunes National Park and Preserve, San Luis Valley, Cortez, Canyon of the Ancients National Monument, Hovenweep National Monument, Ute Mountain, Delta, Grand Junction, Colorado National Monument, and other areas surrounding the Uncompahgre Plateau and Uncompahgre National Forest. Colorado is one of four states in the United States that share a common geographic point the four corners together with Arizona, New Mexico, and Utah. At this intersection, it is possible to stand in four states at once. Climate The climate of Colorado is more complex than states outside of the mountain states region. Unlike most other states, southern Colorado is not always warmer than northern Colorado. Most of Colorado is made up of mountains, foothills, high plains, and desert lands. Mountains and surrounding valleys greatly affect local climate. As a general rule, with an increase in elevation comes a decrease in temperature and an increase in precipitation. Northeast, east, and southeast Colorado are mostly the high plains, while northern Colorado is a mix of high plains, foothills, and mountains. Northwest and West Colorado are predominantly mountainous, with some desert lands mixed in. Southwest and Southern Colorado are a complex mixture of desert and mountain areas. Eastern Plains The climate of the Eastern Plains is semi-arid, Köppen Climate Classification, BSK, with low humidity and moderate precipitation, usually from 15 to 25 inches. 380 to 640 mm, annually. The area is known for its abundant sunshine and cool, clear nights, which give this area a great average diurnal temperature range. 
the difference between the highs of the days and the lows of the nights can be considerable as warmth dissipates to space during clear nights, the heat radiation not being trapped by clouds. The Front Range Urban Corridor, where most of the population of Colorado resides, lies in a pronounced precipitation shadow as a result of being on the lee side of the Rocky Mountains. In summer, this area can have many days above 95 degrees Fahrenheit, 35 degrees Celsius, and often 100 degrees Fahrenheit, 38 degrees Celsius. On the plains, the winter lows usually range from 25 to 10 degree F, 4 to 23 degree C. About 75% of the precipitation falls within the growing season, from April to September, but this area is very prone to droughts. Most of the precipitation comes from thunderstorms, which can be severe, and from major snowstorms that occur in the winter and early spring. Otherwise, winters tend to be mostly dry and cold. In much of the region, March is the snowiest month. April and May are normally the rainiest months, while April is the wettest month overall. The Front Range cities closer to the mountains tend to be warmer in the winter due to Chinook winds which warm the area, sometimes bringing temperatures of 70 degrees Fahrenheit, 21 degrees Celsius, or higher in the winter. The average July temperature is 55 degrees Fahrenheit, 13 degrees Celsius, in the morning and 90 degrees Fahrenheit, 32 degrees Celsius, in the afternoon. The average January temperature is 18 degrees Fahrenheit, 8 degrees C, in the morning and 48 degrees Fahrenheit, 9 degrees Celsius, in the afternoon, although variation between consecutive days can be 40 degrees Fahrenheit, 20 degrees Celsius. Front Range Foothills just west of the plains and into the foothills, there are a wide variety of climate types. Locations merely a few miles apart can experience entirely different weather depending on the topography. Most valleys have a semi-arid climate not unlike the eastern plains, which transitions to an alpine climate at the highest elevations. Microclimates also exist in local areas that run nearly the entire spectrum of climates, including subtropical highland, CFB slash CWB, humid subtropical, CFA, humid continental, DFA slash DFB, Mediterranean, CSA slash CSB, and subarctic, DFC. Extreme weather. Extreme weather changes are common in Colorado, although the majority of extreme weather occurs in the least populated areas of the state. Thunderstorms are common east of the Continental Divide in the spring and summer, yet are usually brief. Hail is a common sight in the mountains east of the Divide and in the northwest part of the state. The eastern plains have had some of the biggest hail storms in North America. The eastern plains are part of the extreme western portion of Tornado Alley. Some damaging tornadoes in the eastern plains include the 1990 Lemon F3 tornado and the 2008 Windsor EF3 tornado, which devastated the small town. The plains are also susceptible to occasional floods, which are caused both by thunderstorms and by the rapid melting of snow in the mountains during warm weather. Notable examples include the Big Thompson River flooding of 1976 and the 2013 Colorado floods. Denver's record in 1901 for the number of consecutive days above 90 degrees Fahrenheit, 32 degrees Celsius, was broken during the summer of 2008. The new record of 24 consecutive days surpassed the previous record by almost a week. Much of Colorado is a very dry state averaging only 17 inches, 430 millimeters of precipitation per year statewide and rarely experiences a time when some portion of the state is not in some degree of drought. The lack of precipitation contributes to the severity of wildfires in the state, such as the Hayman Fire, one of the largest wildfires in American history, and the Formil Canyon Fire of 2010, which until the Waldo Canyon Fire and High Park Fire of June 2012, and the Black Forest Fire of June 2013, 
was the most destructive wildfire in Colorado's recorded history. However, some of the mountainous regions of Colorado receive a huge amount of moisture from winter snowfalls. The spring melts of these snows often cause great water flows in the Yampa River, the Colorado River, the Rio Grande, the Arkansas River, the North Platte River, and the South Platte River. Water flowing out of the Colorado Rocky Mountains is a very significant source of water for the farms, towns, and cities of the southwest states of New Mexico, Arizona, Utah, and Nevada, as well as the Midwest, such as Nebraska and Kansas, and the southern states of Oklahoma and Texas. A significant amount of water is also diverted for use in California, occasionally, formerly naturally and consistently the flow of water reaches northern Mexico. Records The highest ambient air temperature ever recorded in Colorado was 118 degrees Fahrenheit, 48 degrees Celsius, on July 11, 1888, at Bennett. The lowest air temperature was 61 degree F, 52 degree C, on February 1, 1985, at Mabel. Earthquakes Despite its mountainous terrain, Colorado is relatively quiet seismically. The U.S. National Earthquake Information Center is located in Golden. On August 22, 2011, a 5.3 magnitude earthquake occurred 9 miles, 14 kilometers, west-southwest of the city of Trinidad. There were no casualties and only a small amount of damage was reported. It was the second largest earthquake in Colorado. A magnitude 5.7 earthquake was recorded in 1973. History The region that is today the state of Colorado has been inhabited by Native Americans for more than 13,000 years. The Lindenmeyer site in Larimer County contains artifacts dating from approximately 11,200 BC to 3000 BC. The eastern edge of the Rocky Mountains was a major migration route that was important to the spread of early peoples throughout the Americas. The ancient Pueblo peoples lived in the valleys and mesas of the Colorado Plateau. The Ute Nation inhabited the mountain valleys of the southern Rocky Mountains and the western Rocky Mountains, even as far east as the Front Range of present day. The Apache and the Comanche also inhabited eastern and southeastern parts of the state. At times, the Arapaho Nation and the Cheyenne Nation moved west to hunt across the high plains. The U.S. acquired a territorial claim to the eastern Rocky Mountains with the Louisiana Purchase from France in 1803. This U.S. claim conflicted with the claim by Spain to the upper Arkansas River Basin as the exclusive trading zone of its colony of Santa Fe de Nuevo, Mexico. In 1806, Zebulon Pike led a U.S. Army reconnaissance expedition into the disputed region. Colonel Pike and his men were arrested by Spanish cavalrymen in the San Luis Valley the following February, taken to Chihuahua, and expelled from Mexico the following July. The U.S. relinquished its claim to all land south and west of the Arkansas River and south of 42nd parallel north and west of the 100th meridian west as part of its purchase of Florida from Spain with the Adamsanis Treaty of 1819. The treaty took effect February 22, 1821. Having settled its border with Spain, the U.S. admitted the southeastern portion of the territory of Missouri to the Union as the state of Missouri on August 10, 1821. The remainder of Missouri Territory, including what would become northeastern Colorado, became unorganized territory, and remained so for 33 years over the question of slavery. After 11 years of war, Spain finally recognized the independence of Mexico with the Treaty of Córdoba signed on August 24, 1821. Mexico eventually ratified the Adamsanis Treaty in 1831. The Texian Revolt of 1835-36 fomented a dispute between the U.S. and Mexico which eventually erupted into the Mexican-American War in 1846. 
Mexico surrendered its northern territory to the U.S. with the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo at the conclusion of the war in 1848. Most American settlers traveling overland west to the Oregon country, namely the new gold fields of California, or the new Mormon settlements of the state of Deseret in the Salt Lake Valley, avoided the rugged southern Rocky Mountains, and instead followed the North Platte River and Sweetwater River to South Pass, Wyoming, the lowest crossing of the continental divide between the southern Rocky Mountains and the central Rocky Mountains. In 1849, the Mormons of the Salt Lake Valley organized the extra-legal state of Deseret, claiming the entire Great Basin and all lands drained by the rivers Green, Grand, and Colorado. The federal government of the U.S. flatly refused to recognize the new Mormon government, because it was theocratic and sanctioned plural marriage. Instead, the Compromise of 1850 divided the Mexican Cession and the northwestern claims of Texas into a new state and two new territories, the state of California, the territory of New Mexico, and the territory of Utah. On April 9, 1851, Mexican-American settlers from the area of Taos settled the village of San Luis, then in the New Mexico Territory, later to become Colorado's first permanent Euro-American settlement. In 1854, Senator Stephen A. Douglas persuaded the U.S. Congress to divide the unorganized territory east of the Continental Divide into two new organized territories, the Territory of Kansas and the Territory of Nebraska and an unorganized southern region known as the Indian Territory. Each new territory was to decide the fate of slavery within its boundaries, but this compromise merely served to fuel animosity between free soil and pro-slavery factions. The gold seekers organized the provisional government of the territory of Jefferson on August 24, 1859, but this new territory failed to secure approval from the Congress of the United States embroiled in the debate over slavery. The election of Abraham Lincoln for the President of the United States on November 6, 1860, led to the secession of nine southern slave states and the threat of civil war among the states. Seeking to augment the political power of the Union states, the Republican Party-dominated Congress quickly admitted the eastern portion of the territory of Kansas into the Union as the Free State of Kansas on January 29, 1861, leaving the western portion of the Kansas Territory, and its gold mining areas, as unorganized territory. Territory Act Thirty days later on February 28, 1861, Outgoing U.S. President James Buchanan signed an act of Congress organizing the Free Territory of Colorado. The original boundaries of Colorado remain unchanged today. The name Colorado was chosen because it was commonly believed that the Colorado River originated in the territory. In 1776, Spanish priest Sylvester Valesta Escalante recorded that Native Americans in the area knew the river as El Rio Colorado for the red-brown silt that the river carried from the mountains. In 1859, a U.S. Army topographic expedition led by Captain John McComb located the confluence of the Green River with the Grand River in what is now Canyonlands National Park in Utah. The Macomb Party designated the confluence as the source of the Colorado River. On April 12, 1861, South Carolina artillery opened fire on Fort Sumter to start the American Civil War. While many gold seekers held sympathies for the Confederacy, the vast majority remained fiercely loyal to the Union cause. In 1862, a force of Texas cavalry invaded the territory of New Mexico and captured Santa Fe on March 10. The object of this western campaign was to seize or disrupt the gold fields of Colorado and California and to seize ports on the Pacific Ocean for the Confederacy. A hastily organized force of Colorado Volunteers force marched from Denver City, Colorado Territory, to Glorieta Pass, New Mexico Territory in an attempt to block the Texans. On March 28, the Coloradans and local New Mexico volunteers stopped the Texans at the Battle of Glorieta Pass, 
destroyed their cannon and supply wagons, and dispersed 500 of their horses and mules. The Texans were forced to retreat to Santa Fe. Having lost the supplies for their campaign and finding little support in New Mexico, the Texans abandoned Santa Fe and returned to San Antonio in defeat. The Confederacy made no further attempts to seize the southwestern United States. In 1864, Territorial Governor John Evans appointed the Reverend John Chivington as Colonel of the Colorado Volunteers with orders to protect white settlers from Cheyenne and Arapaho warriors who were accused of stealing cattle. Colonel Chivington ordered his men to attack a band of Cheyenne and Arapaho encamped along Sand Creek. Chivington reported that his troops killed more than 500 warriors. The militia returned to Denver City in triumph, but several officers reported that the so-called battle was a blatant massacre of Indians at peace, that most of the dead were women and children, and that bodies of the dead had been hideously mutilated and desecrated. Three U.S. Army inquiries condemned the action, and incoming President Andrew Johnson asked Governor Evans for his resignation, but none of the perpetrators was ever punished. This event is now known as the Sand Creek Massacre. In the midst and aftermath of civil war, many discouraged prospectors returned to their homes, but a few stayed and developed mines, mills, farms, ranches, roads, and towns in Colorado Territory. On September 14, 1864, James Huff discovered silver near Argentine Pass, the first of many silver strikes. In 1867, the Union Pacific Railroad laid its tracks west to Weir, now Julesburg, in the northeast corner of the territory. The Union Pacific linked up with the Central Pacific Railroad at Promontory Summit, Utah, on May 10, 1869, to form the first transcontinental railroad. The Denver Pacific Railway reached Denver in June the following year and the Kansas Pacific arrived two months later to forge the second line across the continent. In 1872, rich veins of silver were discovered in the San Juan Mountains on the Ute Indian Reservation in southwestern Colorado. The Ute people were removed from the San Juans the following year. Statehood The United States Congress passed an enabling act on March 3, 1875, specifying the requirements for the Territory of Colorado to become a state. On August 1, 1876, 28 days after the centennial of the United States, U.S. President Ulysses S. Grant signed a proclamation admitting Colorado to the Union as the 38th state and earning it the moniker Centennial State. The discovery of a major silver load near Leadville in 1878 triggered the Colorado silver boom. The Sherman Silver Purchase Act of 1890 invigorated silver mining, and Colorado's last, but greatest, gold strike at Cripple Creek a few months later lured a new generation of gold seekers. Colorado women were granted the right to vote beginning on November 7, 1893, making Colorado the second state to grant universal suffrage and the first one by a popular vote, of Colorado men. The repeal of the Sherman Silver Purchase Act in 1893 led to a staggering collapse of the mining and agricultural economy of Colorado, but the state slowly and steadily recovered. Between the 1880s and 1930s, Denver's floriculture industry developed into a major industry in Colorado. This period became known locally as the Carnation Gold Rush. Colorado became the first western state to host a major political convention when the Democratic Party met in Denver in 1908. By the U.S. Census in 1930, the population of Colorado first exceeded one million residents. Colorado suffered greatly through the Great Depression and the Dust Bowl of the 1930s, but a major wave of immigration following World War II boosted Colorado's fortune. Tourism became a mainstay of the state economy, and high technology became an important economic engine. The United States Census Bureau estimated that the population of Colorado exceeded 5 million in 2009. 
Three warships of the U.S. Navy have been named the USS Colorado. The first USS Colorado was named for the Colorado River. The later two ships were named in honor of the state, including the battleship USS Colorado which served in World War II in the Pacific beginning in 1941. At the time of the attack on Pearl Harbor, this USS Colorado was located at the naval base in San Diego, California, and hence went unscathed. Demographics The United States Census Bureau estimates that the population of Colorado was 5,540,545 on July 1, 2016, a 10.17% increase since the 2010 United States Census. Colorado's most populous city, and capital, is Denver. The Denver Aurora Boulder combined statistical area with an estimated 2013 population of 3,277,309, has 60% of the state's residents. The largest increases are expected in the Front Range Urban Corridor, especially in the Denver metropolitan area. The state's fastest-growing counties are Douglas and Weld. The center of population of Colorado is located just north of the village of Critchell in Jefferson County. According to the 2010 United States Census, Colorado had a population of 5,029,196. Racial composition of the state's population was 81.3% White American 70.0% non-Hispanic White, 11.3% Hispanic White, 20.7% Hispanic and Latino American, of any race, heritage, 7.2% some other race, 4.0% Black or African American, 3.4% Multiracial American, 2.8% Asian American, 1.1% American Indian and Alaska Native. 0.1% Native Hawaiian and other Pacific Islander. People of Hispanic and Latino American, of any race made, heritage, made up 20.7% of the population. According to the 2000 census, the largest ancestry groups in Colorado are German, 22%, including of Swiss and Austrian nationalities. Mexican, 18%, Irish, 12%, and English, 12%. Persons reporting German ancestry are especially numerous in the Front Range, the Rockies, West Central Counties, and Eastern Parts slash High Plains. Colorado has a high proportion of Hispanic, mostly Mexican American, citizens in metropolitan Denver, Colorado Springs, as well as the smaller cities of Greeley and Pueblo, and elsewhere. Southern, southwestern, and southeastern Colorado has a large number of Hispanos, the descendants of the early Mexican settlers of colonial Spanish origin. In 1940, the Census Bureau reported Colorado's population as 8.2% Hispanic and 90.3% non-Hispanic white. The Hispanic population of Colorado has continued to grow quickly over the past decades. By 2012, Hispanics made up 21% of Colorado's population, and non-Hispanic whites made up 69%. Spoken English in Colorado has many Spanish idioms. Colorado also has some large African-American communities located in Denver in the neighborhoods of Montbello, Five Points, Whittier, and many other East Denver areas. A relatively large population of African Americans are also found in Colorado Springs on the east and southeast side of the city. The state has sizable numbers of Asian Americans of Mongolian, Chinese, Filipino, Korean, Southeast Asian, and Japanese descent. The highest population of Asian Americans can be found on the south and southeast side of Denver, as well as some on Denver's southwest side. The Denver metropolitan area is considered more liberal and diverse than much of the state when it comes to political issues and environmental concerns. There were a total of 70,331 births in Colorado in 2006. 
birth rate of 14.6 per thousand. In 2007, non-Hispanic whites were involved in 59.1% of all the births. Some 14.06% of those births involved a non-Hispanic white person and someone of a different race, most often with a couple including one Hispanic. A birth where at least one Hispanic person was involved counted for 43% of the births in Colorado. As of the 2010 census, Colorado has the seventh highest percentage of Hispanics, 20.7%, in the U.S. behind New Mexico, 46.3%, California, 37.6%, Texas, 37.6%, Arizona, 29.6%, Nevada, 26.5%, and Florida, 22.5%. For the 2000 census, the Hispanic population is estimated to be 918,899 or approximately 20% of the state total population. Colorado has the fifth largest population of Mexican Americans behind California, Texas, Arizona, and Illinois. In percentages, Colorado has the sixth highest percentage of Mexican Americans behind New Mexico, California, Texas, Arizona, and Nevada. In 2011, 46% of Colorado's population younger than the age of one were minorities, meaning that they had at least one parent who was not non Hispanic white. Language Spanish is the second most spoken language in Colorado, after English. There is one native Coloradan language still spoken in Colorado, Colorado River Numic, Ute. Religion Major religious affiliations of the people of Colorado are 64% Christian, of whom there are 44% Protestants, 19% Roman Catholics, and 3% Latter-day Saints Mormon. Other religious breakdowns are 2% Jewish, 1% Muslim. 1% Buddhist and 0.5% Hindu. The religiously unaffiliated make up 25% of the population. The largest denominations by number of adherents in 2010 were the Catholic Church with 811,630, non-denominational evangelical Protestants with 229,981, and the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints with 142,473. Health According to several studies, Coloradans have the lowest rates of obesity of any state in the U.S. As of 2007, 18% of the population was considered medically obese, and while the lowest in the nation, the percentage had increased from 17% in 2004. According to a report in the Journal of the American Medical Association, residents of Colorado had a 2014 life expectancy of 80.21 years, the longest of any U.S. state. Culture Fine Arts Film A number of film productions have shot on location in Colorado, especially prominent westerns like True Grit, The Searchers, and Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. A number of historic military forts, railways with trains still operating, mining ghost towns have been utilized and transformed for historical accuracy in well-known films. There are also a number of scenic highways and mountain passes that help to feature the open road in films such as Vanishing Point, Bingo, and Starman. Some Colorado landmarks have been featured in films such as the Stanley Hotel in Dumb and Dumber and The Shining and the Sculptured House in Sleeper. In 2015, Furious 7 to film driving sequences Pikes Peak Highway in Colorado. The TV series, Good Luck Charlie was being filmed in Denver, Colorado. The Colorado Office of Film and Television has noted that over 400 films have been shot in Colorado. There are also a number of established film festivals in Colorado, including Aspen Shorts Fest, Boulder International Film Festival, Castle Rock Film Festival, Denver Film Festival, Fest IVUS Film Festival, Mile High Horror Film Festival, 
Moondance International Film Festival, Mountain Film in Telluride, Rocky Mountain Women's Film Festival, and Telluride Film Festival. Cuisine Colorado is known for its Southwest and Rocky Mountain cuisine. Mexican restaurants are prominent throughout the state. Boulder, Colorado was named America's foodiest town 2010 by Bon Appetit. Boulder, and Colorado in general, is home to a number of national food and beverage companies, top-tier restaurants, and farmers markets. Boulder, Colorado also has more master sommeliers per capita than any other city, including San Francisco and New York. The Food and Wine Classic is held annually each June in Aspen, Colorado. Aspen also has a reputation as the culinary capital of the Rocky Mountain region. Denver is known for steak, but now has a diverse culinary scene with many restaurants. Wine and Beer Colorado wines include award-winning varietals that have attracted favorable notice from outside the state. With wines made from traditional Vitus vinifera grapes along with wines made from cherries, peaches, plums, and honey, Colorado wines have won top national and international awards for their quality. Colorado's grape-growing regions contain the highest elevation vineyards in the United States, with most viticulture in the state practiced between 4,000 and 7,000 feet, 1,219 and 2,134 m, above sea level. The mountain climate ensures warm summer days and cool nights. Colorado is home to two designated American viticultural areas of the Grand Valley Ava and the West Elk Ava, where most of the vineyards in the state are located. However, an increasing number of wineries are located along the Front Range. Colorado is home to many nationally praised microbreweries, including New Belgium Brewing Company, Odell Brewing Company, Great Divide Brewing Company, and Oscar Blues Brewery. The area of northern Colorado near and between the cities of Denver, Boulder, and Fort Collins is known as the Napa Valley of Beer due to its high density of craft breweries. Marijuana and Hemp Colorado is open to cannabis, marijuana, tourism. With the adoption of their 64th State Amendment in 2013 Colorado became the first state in the Union to legalize the medicinal, 2000, industrial, 2013, and recreational, 2014, use of marijuana. Colorado's marijuana industry sold $1.31 billion worth of marijuana in 2016 and $1.26 billion in the first three quarters of 2017. The state generated tax, fee, and license revenue of $194 million in 2016 on legal marijuana sales. Colorado regulates hemp as any part of the plant with less than 0.03% THC. Amendment 64, adopted by the voters in the 2014 general election, forces the Colorado State Legislature to enact legislation governing the cultivation, processing and sale of recreational marijuana and industrial hemp. On April 4, 2014 Senate Bill 14184 addressing oversight of Colorado's industrial hemp program was first introduced ultimately being signed into law by Governor John Hickenlooper on May 31, 2014. Medicinal Use On November 7, 2000, 54% of Colorado voters passed Amendment 20, which amends the Colorado State Constitution to allow the medical use of marijuana. A patient's medical use of marijuana, within the following limits, is lawful. I no more than 2 ounces, 57 grams, of a usable form of marijuana, and 2, no more than 12 marijuana plants, with 6 or fewer being mature, flowering plants that are producing a usable form of marijuana. Currently Colorado has listed 8 medical conditions for which patients can use marijuana cancer, glaucoma, HIV-AIDS, muscle spasms, seizures, severe pain, severe nausea, and cachexia, or dramatic weight loss and muscle atrophy. 
Colorado Governor John Hickenlooper has allocated about half of the state's $13 million medical marijuana program cash fund to medical research in the 2014 budget. Recreational Use On November 6, 2012, voters amended the state constitution to protect personal use of marijuana for adults, establishing a framework to regulate marijuana in a manner similar to alcohol. The first recreational marijuana shops in Colorado, and by extension the United States, opened their doors on January 1, 2014. Sports Colorado has five major professional sports leagues, all based in the Denver metropolitan area. Colorado is the least populous state with a franchise in each of the major professional sports leagues. The Pikes Peak International Hill Climb is a major hill climbing motor race held at the Pikes Peak Highway. The Cherry Hills Country Club has hosted several professional golf tournaments, including the U.S. Open, U.S. Senior Open, U.S. Women's Open, PGA Championship and BMW Championship. College Athletics The following universities and colleges participate in the National Collegiate Athletic Association Division I. The most popular college sports program is the University of Colorado Buffaloes, who used to play in the Big 12 but now play in the Pac-12. They have won the 1957 and 1991 Orange Bowl, 1995 Fiesta Bowl and 1996 Cotton Bowl Classic. Economy CNBC's list of top states for business for 2010 has recognized Colorado as the third best state in the nation, falling short to only Texas and Virginia. He total state product in 2015 was $318,600 million. Per capita personal income in 2010 was $51,940, ranking Colorado 11th in the nation. The state's economy broadened from its mid-19th century roots in mining when irrigated agriculture developed, and by the late 19th century, raising livestock had become important. Early industry was based on the extraction and processing of minerals and agricultural products. Current agricultural products are cattle, wheat, dairy products, corn, and hay. The federal government is also a major economic force in the state with many important federal facilities including NORAD, North American Aerospace Defense Command, United States Air Force Academy, Schriever Air Force Base located approximately 10 miles, 16 kilometers, east of Peterson Air Force Base, and Fort Carson, both located in Colorado Springs within El Paso County, NOAA the National Renewable Energy Laboratory, NREL, in Golden, and the National Institute of Standards and Technology in Boulder, U.S. Geological Survey and other government agencies at the Denver Federal Center near Lakewood, the Denver Mint, Buckley Air Force Base, the Tenth Circuit Court of Appeals and the Byron G. Rogers Federal Building and United States Courthouse in Denver and a federal supermax prison and other federal prisons near Cannon City. In addition to these and other federal agencies, Colorado has abundant national forest land and four national parks that contribute to federal ownership of 24,615,788 acres, 99,617 square kilometers, of land in Colorado, or 37% of the total area of the state. In the second half of the 20th century, the industrial and service sectors have expanded greatly. The state's economy is diversified and is notable for its concentration of scientific research and high-technology industries. Other industries include food processing, transportation equipment, machinery, chemical products, the... Please subscribe and thanks for watching.